No, that's not. Why would you say because that? Because she's a nobody. Why do you even waste your Wasting time? Wasting my time. Is that what I'm doing? Yeah, you're wasting your already worthless time. I'm wasting my time talking to you. That's, that's hey, the whoa. truth. Hey, whoa. You chose that's... to talk to me. I didn't choose to talk to you. And I hope you remember that. Everybody, please, give this guy a hand. What are you doing? I'm the only one here. You must have been talking to me. Dude, stop. You're a 26-year-old hairy-chested man. You're too old to be throwing fits. I'm also too old to be arguing with myself. Irony is amazing with you. Do, like, do you do this on purpose? Maybe. Oh, come on, seriously. You know better than to use those. They shut you up, do they? Dr. Morris knows exactly- Dr. Morris just wants his fat paycheck and you to come back like a sick little lab rat begging for more. I'm still here. <laughs> <coughs> look at him, look at him, he's doing that yoga meditation crap. Oh. Okay, okay, I'm done. Let me, let me be straight with you. Derek. What? When did I pop in your head? Shut up. No, 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 I'm serious. Do you remember? I don't know, 12? No, you hadn't gotten prescription yet. What's your point? The crap you take brought me in. It's not gonna take me out. You were completely normal before the pills. You were just traumatized and nobody believed you. Don't, don't start acting like you care now. Come on, Derek, those pills are 90% junk. That makes sure I stay. The other 10% is just emotional mm -hmm. depressant. There's no such thing as chemical imbalance in your brain. Look it up. There's no such thing as a test that even determines that. It's a bunch of theory. Okay, Dr. Phil. All I'm saying is that you're not crazy. You just need a little love. Look, I don't want to be here as much as you don't want me here. Do me a favor. Stop taking those sweet tarts and go to your family. Start going to church or something. You should don't win buy the weirdest the voice in my head award. Like, don't you guys refuse leaving? I'm not the clingy type. <laughs> you like that one, right? That's a good yeah. one. Yeah, I know. You know, I have to be honest. I, I took an approach a long time ago. I just, I just took an approach. I heard about it, and I just did it. I actually swapped his, uh, his mental health medication for sugar pills years ago. Yes. No. I just, I decided to go ahead and, and give it a try. I wanted to see, yes, I, I understand. Yep, I did take a risk. But I, I wanted to see if in fact he really needed this treatment. I was not convinced that this was what he needed. Years. Yes, well, while he was, while he was still living at home, while I was actually still his, you know, his caregiver. And I had control over the prescriptions, and I was the one administering it. And I actually made the swap, and, and, I, and I noticed that um, ever since I haven't had that control, he's actually been taking the right prescription. And the concern that I have is that he's getting addicted to it now that he's actually taking the medication. I was able to observe and actually document. I know I'm not a licensed practitioner. I'm nowhere near a doctor. I just, I just had a gut feeling that this is not something he really needed. I, I, I had a feeling that it was not really what was helping him. Yes. Yes, and I've been observing, and lately I've noticed the pattern changes. 